Okay, let's jump into part two of this uniform distribution problem. Okay, so we got to number three, and I said that number three was a little tricky. And so here's what we're looking for. So let's write this out slightly differently. Or let's first convert the problem number three into a probability statement. So we kind of broke these down into parts. Uh, I'm going to just hide these for right now. Since we did them, I'll just hide. And we'll come back to those in a little bit. Okay, here we go. So, given that she has spent two hours, what's the probability that she spends less than 2.5 hours? Like, there's a couple of ways we can handle this, and I want to show you both. So, this is for part three. Here we go. So, what we're saying is that the probability that she spends um, less than 2.5 hours, so our discrete random variable is less than 2.5, given, remember this, uh, this is coming back from a couple weeks ago, given that x is actually greater than 2. So we already know that she spent 2 hours, so we know that the amount of time that she's going to spend on the case is going to be greater than 2 hours. And we want to know what's the probability now that it's going to be less than 2.5. Okay, so we need to keep on writing this out. So if we remember, we could say that this is equal to, okay, the probability of being greater than, here, we'll write this out, that x being less than 2.5 and intersect that x is going to be uh, greater than 2. So we need to know where they intersect, where both of those occur at the same time. And then we can divide by, okay, what is the probability that, uh, oh, of x being greater than, of our random variable being greater than 2. Okay, so this will help us out and kind of let us know what we need to get together. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to get do this in two pieces. Oops. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, I deleted it all. Well, give me just a second and I will get this all put back together. Hit escape too soon. Okay, got it again. So here we go. We want to figure out what this one is first. And then secondly, we want to figure out what this guy is. Okay. So if we come over and we look at our graph. Uh, so like graphically, we're looking for kind of the range between um, where it is both greater than, uh, greater where our random variable is greater than 2 and less than 2.5. We're looking for this range for our first part. Now what we can do is we could take the probability of being less than 2 and minus from it the probability of being less, or sorry, probability of being less than 2.5 and the probability of being less than 2. That'll give us this range, which is what we're looking for, the probability of being less than 2.5 and greater than 2. Let me, let me see if I can't shade this again. Let's go back to distributions and we'll go to our uniform, uniform plot. There we go. And I'm looking for from 2 to 2.5. Let's do a better color than this. Sure. Okay. And okay. All right. So my titles are messed up again, but don't worry about it. Okay, so here we go. So now check this out. This is what we're looking for. This is where we are both less than two and a half and greater than two. We need to figure out this probability. And I suggest that what we do is we find the probability of being less than 2.5 and then subtract off the probability of being less than two and that'll give us our intersection. So let's do it. Let's go to distributions. Go back to the uniform. Let's go to probabilities. Okay, and we can put in 0.75 and 0.5. Four. Now, the lower tail says we want the probabilities of being less than a given value. So we can actually just put in numbers here. 2, comma, 
2.5. And let's click OK. Let's go back over to our studio. OK, so we've got 2.5. I'm going to copy that. And we're just going to subtract from that the probability of being less than 2. So however you, the order that you input your numbers here, I had 2 and then 2.5, that's going to be the order of the probabilities that are given. And I'm just going to hit Enter. And I get like a 15-ish percent. We look at this range and we're like, yeah, sure, that looks roughly 15-ish. Awesome. So I'm going to copy that. And here I'm just I'm just going to paste that value. Oh, sorry, wrong spot. We'll drag this one down. All right, so we've got the first part done. Second part, we need to know what's the probability of the discrete random variable being greater than 2. Well, we've got less than 2 here, so we could do 1 minus this probability. That's an option that we could do. Or we could go to just back to our distribution, uniform, probabilities. We could just tell it, okay, we want 2, but this time we want an upper tail. We want greater than. Click OK and check it out. We got the same thing both ways. So I'm just going to copy this guy and paste it in here. Now we're ready to answer this big question. Or we can now divide these two by each other. Okay, now I'm just going to say equals probability of being both divided by probability of being greater than 2 is we get roughly 25%. Okay, so let's see if that also works with another method. All right, so follow me. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go back to our distributions and we're going to go to our uniform and uniform probabilities. Okay, so what I'm going to propose is that we do something a little bit different. And what we're going to do, let me actually round these. Let's go number we're going to round to our four decimal places. What we're going to do is do something just, like I said, just slightly different. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to instead say, given that we have been waiting for two hours, so we're really just changing the bottom of our uniform distribution. So I'm going to say instead of the bottom being 0.75, I'm going to say that it's 2. And I'm going to say, what's the probability that we wait less than... 2.5 hours. I want this lower tail. And now I can just click OK. And it gives us 0.25. Now if you notice, okay, when we round to four decimal places, we get 0.25. When we actually, when you drag numbers over from our command or from our studio into Excel, sometimes you'll get some very small rounding errors. But rounding to four decimal places, you should be the same. So if you want to double double check that, what you can do is say equals we can copy this guy, and we can copy this guy. Oh, I guess, hold on, this is our studio, we don't need equals. We can hit enter, and yep, from once again, we had this little bit of rounding error, um, but when we round to four decimal places, we're going to be the same. This is why we round to four decimal places, so that even when we have tiny, tiny, tiny rounding errors, we're actually okay. Either way works just fine. You can go back to the original method. I'd probably use this new one. I think it's a little easier to understand. Um, so this would be the probability that, given that she's already spent two hours, what's the probability that she spends less than two and a half? Anyways, I hope that that helps. And we're going to do the next two parts, um, number four and number five, in the next video. Good luck.